Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Data Center Pulse focused on the chill off. Uh, today we're actually here to talk about a really interesting solution. This is the first in the series that is a combined compute cooling type solution. So it's right behind me here. You can see it's the IBM integrated solution. And really it's, if you look at it, it's two rows of blade type systems but contained within a single rack footprint in terms of overall dimensions. So really interesting from a maximum density from a space standpoint and then cooling as well. But I've got Ken Schneebly here with me to talk about Hello, that. Hello folks. Yeah, welcome. And uh, so Ken, you give us a brief overview of the solution, talk about some of the compelling features and some of the efficiencies and that sort of thing. Sure, let me start with the system itself. This is the iDataplex platform. It's one of the uh, uh, X-series uh, platforms that we have along with Blade Center and modular systems. Uh, this system is, is optimized for wide-scale deployment in your rapidly growing data centers that are focused in on space efficiency, energy efficiency uh, to the extreme. It's a, uh, it's a large ship configured uh, system and as you mentioned it's within the footprint of a standard rack. This dimension across the width is 47 and a half inches wide. The depth uh, without the rear heat exchanger is 23 and a half inches deep and the total auxiliary cooling system, the optional cooling system, the rear heat exchanger, is only additional four inches to bring us up to a 29 and a half inch depth by 47 and a half inch wide, same as a standard rack. So, so you mentioned something interesting there in terms of the way it was shipped or rolled into this space. So in terms of quickness to deploy, this system as it was delivered to us, and I'm assuming for customers as well, was delivered fully configured like this, right? That's as, correct. As, as we've said, an integrated solution of 84 blades? That's correct. And this is a pretty flexible system. This happens to be 84 blades. We also have storage nodes that go into it. So it's very flexible whether it's going to be going into a web application, web application or a high performance computing. Ethernet switches, fiber channel switches, IV switches, all get uh, pre-configured and shipped fully tested and deployed very rapidly inside of uh, uh, customer client environments. Okay, and then now back to the dimensions. You mentioned the rear door heat exchanger as being optional. Yes. In that um, it obviously looks like an integrated piece of this solution, but that's a really interesting point. So actually, let's go to the back and take a look at it. So what Ken's talking about is this portion here, right? Just this narrow portion of the rack. So the entire heat exchanger is in about, a, what, a four inch? Yes, yeah, four, four inch, inch depth. And in this four inch depth, we can take away 100% of the heat or more for all configurations that can go into this rack and all of your expected room uh, operating conditions. Uh, ignore these, these are part of the chill off test setup. We're doing 36 uh, temperature measurements, but the, but the system itself is just the heat exchanger using the fans of the IT equipment to move the air so there's no additional power for moving the air and doing the heat removal. There's only the water which comes in through one hose and out through the other hose, and that uh, in, uh, ranges between a very low gallons per minute up to 15 gallons per minute to be able to take out more than 100% of the heat, depending on the conditions. Right, now you've taken some measurements here on the side, right, uh, in, in advance of this video. Do you want to talk about some of those? Sure. Okay. Uh, for this particular setup, we have the air temperature coming into this rack is at 71 degrees. Uh, we have uh, the server exit temperature is at 100 degrees uh, that we measured right through the door. And coming out of the rack, it's actually dropped the temperature down to 57 degrees. So again, 71 degrees in, 57 degrees out. And that happens to be for this condition at 15 gallons per minute, 50 degree water temperature above dew point, and 16 kilowatt rack. All right. And now one of the last points is 16 kW, that's what we're sitting at right now. But in terms of true full capacity for this system, what, what's this thing capable of? Uh, it's been tested well beyond 30 kilowatts. We have systems that can go up and, and come close to 30 kilowatts at this generation. It really depends on the configuration, but the technology itself has been demonstrated to take out more than 100% of the heat up at 30 kilowatts. Great. Okay, and then the last point I want to make is that the rear door heat exchanger, you can operate this without 
this rear door heat exchanger. So in some legacy environments, if you wanted it to be cooled via room air, that's possible, right? Oh yes, okay. totally. Yes, that's uh, completely possible if you were to buy this system, or actually pretty much any one of our IBM systems, and then you were to decide you wanted to deploy a rear door heat exchanger technology, which we have pretty much on 100% of our products, then you're able to come on in and put this in within the same footprint. It just takes off the old door, puts on this door, connect up your two water pipes, and you're off and running. Great. Okay, so the last question I like to ask, how do you think you're going to do? Oh, we'll do excellent. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Great. Well, thanks, folks, uh, for tuning in. Stay tuned for another episode coming up soon. We're actually we're going to move to refrigerant-based testing here in the chill up. That's going to be really interesting as well. So, uh, like I said, stay tuned for future episodes. Thanks.